Hello guys, welcome to the Cyfinity training course and today in this video I would like to show you how to install Cyfinity CMS on your Windows PC Ok, so firstly we should know what is a Cyfinity Ok, so Cyfinity is a content management system who were created by Telerik and using the .NET framework to write the CMS I, Ok, so now let's see the agenda for today we get the file from the, the, the internet over cyfinity.com or tetheric.com and once the file is get into your PC so we will install it on your Windows PC and in this video I'm using the Windows 10 for your demo ok let's get started I open the browser and access to the cyfinity.com here and on the right hand here on the top we have China button you click on this to get the file on uh, into the window PC. You provide uh, the uh, email to get the file. The installation is in progress. Yes, leave it by default and click on the next button. We have two options here. If you don't have the if you don't have the account, so you have to enter some sign up information here to get the access into the cyfinity.com. Another way, if you only have account here, so you provide it and get the access. For now, I'm using a new account, so I, I have to register it here. Provide the name, email, phone, company, and country. All of the all of the few here is require required, so we have to enter the information. Okay, so we have to wait a while to get the file from the internet. This, re this application requires a Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 or later version. So you have to make sure you you have already installed the Visual Studio on this PC in order to use it later. I have already installed the Visual Studio 2017 on this Windows PC. Yes, it will display the, the 30 day direct Cyfinity child has been successfully installed on my PC. So we have to wait a while to, 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 to uh, for the Cyfinity set up the first side on the Windows PC.
open this one. This one is a Cyfinity CMS Project Manager. So we will have to manage the um, all of the project created in 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 the system. Here we have two default. The first one was created previously. So so the new one has been created with default two. You can right click on this to remove the first one. Okay. So now this one is a step to active the license, license of Syfinity. So you have to select the edition of, of this project you want to be to be installed on the Windows PC. So now I go ahead to install Enterprise. You click the evaluation free trial and after that you have to provide the email Yes, so you have to open the Syfinity.com to register this account because this one is not uh, uh, valid. So, oh, so I have to open my gmail.com. Active account because I already provide my my email previously when I get the file from the cyfinity.com. So after that, the the system will automatically send an email to verify my account and and when I open that email, I can enter the password for the account over the over the password link and you can see on the screen here so now you have to set the password for this account confirm password I tip Okay, so for now, the account has been activated, and now back to the installation file here. Enter the password. Activate license. Yes. You can see here, this one is a confirm license dialog. The version is a enterprise edition. Yep, a lot of information here. Click on the continue button.
Yeah. So if you see this screen, this screen, that part, so that means you have just installed the Syfinity successfully on your Windows PC. Okay. So now let's come back to the Syfinity CMS management here. Let's see what we have. Okay, I will close this one. The project is default to. I click on this. Pro. No. Big browser. Okay, so you can see here we have the project were created by Syfinity or CMS Project Manager. Okay, delete this one. And you can open the application data here. Go to Syfinity configuration and we have data conf configuration file here. Open this. You can see here we have the data source is local and the data by name is Cyfinity Default 2. Okay, let's open the sequence server on this PC. And this version for now is the 2014 for sequence server. Here, you can see the Cyfinity default database has been created here. We have a lot of table. So table will, you, will be used to store the data for Cyfinity backend. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to get the Syfinity setup file from the internet. And after that, you uh, install it on your PC to create a simple file, also simple project on your Windows PC. Okay, so see you later and bye-bye.